Students may skip class or simply find ways to stay out of it for long periods of time. Older kids may simply not show up, while younger students might take a restroom pass and stay out to avoid class. Here are some ideas about how to handle this behavior. Questions to ask. What is the purpose of skipping class? What is being avoided? Could it be sensory overload? Work difficulty? Are they avoiding class or skipping to get something else, such as time with peers or adult attention? What parts of the class are they skipping? Are certain parts more difficult than others? What is it about those parts of the class? What are they doing while they are skipping? Can this tell us something about the student's motivation? Here are some proactive strategies to try. Assign the student one or more break cards or break times so they can take a break when they need it. But structure the breaks activities, time and return criteria. This will give them an out, but put some structure around it. Build relationships with students to make sure they feel like you like them and want them in class. This can help reduce tension around learning. Build tolerance for being in class. Start with activities that are not as threatening or overwhelming when you can, in order to reduce pressure on the student. Here are some reactive strategies you may use. Find the student if you can. Hold the expectation they attend class, but also be supportive of the fact that it may be hard for them. Don't assume the student doesn't care and don't give up on them. Believe that you can get them to attend with a combination of persistence and support. Hey Theo, what's going on? I noticed you're not in my class right now. You want to tell me why you're out here? I go wait. Could you put your phone down for a minute so we can talk about why you're not in my class? Thank you. Okay, look. I know you don't want to come to my class, but being there is important for your grade, and because I want you there, maybe, maybe you could tell me a little bit more about what's going on. Okay, so we cut right there for a reason, because whatever discussion I'm going to have with Theo at, at this point isn't the important part, okay? We can come up with all sorts of plans and all sorts of reasons to go to class, um, but you, you don't need to see all that. He may or may not go to class after this. The thing that I'm really doing is building a bridge. And I could do a punishment or a lecture or something. That might fit, fix the one-time skipper, but the chronic skipper is a whole other thing. And that's going to mean me sitting down with Theo every single day and letting him know how much I want him in my class and letting him know how important it is and not just walking by him. And I might only have a few minutes a day. Uh, to, to start building that bridge, but if I can make him comfortable and I can have a good relationship with him, then I think eventually I'm going to be the type of teacher whose class he wants to come to.